Hey guys, my name is Kaylee Anderson and I am an ocean lifeguard for the city of San Clemente here in uh, San Clemente, California, which is Orange County, Southern California, who those of you who might not be aware of where that is. Um, in Southern California, we do get big surf and um, we have a ton of tourists. Um, it's not like Hawaii, but it's, uh, it's pretty close. So I'm very proud to be um, a representative of the ocean safety team within California um, for people to look up to. Um, lifeguarding is not like Baywatch. It is not, um, you know, glamorous and sexy and, you know, um, all sparkly and reality TV. It's dirty, it's gross, it's super gnarly, um, and you definitely have to have a voice. Um, I've been a lifeguard for six summers now, and um, I was a JG in my or junior lifeguard um, at my home department for um, a couple summers before that, before I was hired on and was able to move through the ranks of the junior lifeguard program to become um, a cadet and wear reds and shadow guards, and that's really where my passion for ocean safety began. Um, I was a platform diver, a swimmer, a water polo player in high school and um, went to school in Hawaii, which was super cool. Got to, you know, live the Aloha life for four years and absolutely loved it. Um, but I definitely, I feel like have kind of the, uh, the, the steps that were taken that you kind of need to have to be an ocean lifeguard. You definitely have to be well acquainted with the water and the ocean and be a strong swimmer. Um, so for any girls looking to become an ocean lifeguard, um, you need to have all of those things. Be a strong swimmer, be comfortable in the water, know your comfort zone, um, and have that voice, use that voice that um, you, know, you have to be authoritative. Um, an interesting thing that happened to me when I was, or as a lifeguard, was um, one summer we had what we call the summer of the shark. Um, it's not super, like no gnarly rescues or anything happened during that summer. It was actually a pretty mellow summer down here surf-wise, um, but there were hundreds of sharks every day down at our beaches. Um, it made the news, um, our department was on the news, it was pretty cool. Um, and being the lifeguard on the beach and ask, you know, being coming up, having people come up to you and be like, oh my gosh, lifeguard, like, I just saw a shark out in the water. And you're like, yeah, that's why it's closed. Like, don't go in the water. Um, and having to deal with, you know, surfers who are like, I still want to go surf. Um, and you're like, dude, there's literally like a 10 foot great wide out there. Like, probably not a good idea. Um, and it was kind of cool, you know, people were like, oh, what are you going to do if there's a shark attack? And it's like, well, you know, we have procedures in place to, to deal with the shark attacks. Um, but we never had a shark attack. Um, and, but it was a really cool experience being able to lifeguard, per se, um, with our beaches closed, having hundreds of sharks out in the water. Um, it was super rad. But to, and you know, I've had plenty of gnarly rescues. Um, and I just, in this video, I just want to thank the pioneer ladies who have lifeguarded before me and all my sisters out there um, you know just thank you for paving the way for us to be female lifeguards and allowing for departments to kind of realize like oh there's girls here it's not it's not always just a boys club um, and creating a pathway for us to safely lifeguard um, with men um, and that might kind of sound kind of silly but it is a boys club and um, in my department there's 42 of us. Not a big department, it's pretty small. There's six girls in the department and um, I've never once felt uncomfortable or um, felt aggression towards or from any of the men that I work with. Um, it's not to say with the public, the public's a little different. They do expect that kind of Baywatch sexy lifeguard and um, I don't give it to them. You know, I just give it straight up. This is real life, I'm the authority, this is my beach. Um, and it's hard for all you lifeguard girls who might be watching this, you know that getting someone to grab your buoy as a female lifeguard is a lot harder um, than it is for a man. And especially when you are rescuing a man, um, he's not gonna, gonna, you know, he's not gonna grab the little lifeguard girl's buoy. Um, and that's just, it's, that's where you use that voice. You know, you say, no, I'm not asking you to grab the buoy, I'm telling you to grab it because if I didn't think that you weren't okay out here, I wouldn't be out here responding to you. Um, and that's kind of a fun thing about my job is just using that voice and being authoritative and um, being confident. So to any girl watching this and thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, maybe I want to be a lifeguard, just know that you have to have knowledge of the ocean. You have to um, be strong in the ocean too. You have to be a strong swimmer. 
but you also have to be confident in yourself and know that you know you got here with all the other boys too and you deserve to be here and you belong um, and your sisters out there are also looking out for you so um, again my name is Kaylee Anderson and I'm an ocean lifeguard for the city of San Clemente thank you